In this lesson of automotive electronics, we're going to talk about transistors. We're going to keep it simple and just talk about the basics of what a transistor is and how it's used in automotive applications. Now, we're not going to go inside the modules and look at the circuits on the circuit boards that the engineers built for the modules so that they can operate the car. We're going to look at the transistors from the diagnostic side so that we understand that they are inside the modules and we'll learn how to tell if they're doing their job. Remember, we need to decide is it a sensor, is it a switch, or is the problem inside the module? So understanding that there is a transistor controlling an output or providing information to a module from a switch circuit we don't take the modules apart in the normal automotive repair world. We just need to decide if they're functioning properly. So let's start with the basics. So what is a transistor? A transistor, like a diode, is a semiconductor device. It can act like an electronic switch, and it can also be used as an amplifier, and it can even be used in place of a relay in an electrical circuit. For automotive applications, a transistor is more often used inside a module to provide on-off information about one of the circuits on the car. And this information is used by one or more of the modules to make a decision and to control an output. So for example, we might have a transistor as part of an information circuit when you turn the AC switch on. That particular switch circuit would provide information to the engine control module that we're requesting the air conditioner to be on. But the module would also have to look at some other inputs. In some cases, it would need to know if the check engine light is on for any reason that's related to perhaps performance or overheating because it may not want the air conditioner on if one of those situations is going on. It also would not want the AC to be on if there was no refrigerant in the system. So it's going to monitor the pressure in the AC refrigerant system. But if all of the criteria that the manufacturer has built into the programming is satisfied, then we're going to have a transistor inside of a module complete the path to turn on a relay, which will then turn on the AC clutch. And that's how the transistors are used inside the modules to control things. And we'll look into a little more detail of how that's actually done on a schematic to show you those particular circuits so you'll be able to diagnose them.